Hi FlossTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and my channel is Lancashire Stitcher. If you're a new watcher, then welcome. My channel is about cross stitch mainly, but I do include other crafts. Um, if you're returning, thank you so much. Um, this is FlossTube number four, um, so and I'm now on over a thousand subscribers, so to say I'm overwhelmed is an understatement. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. Um, on my last video, I had quite a few questions, so I'll go through a few of those. Maureen asked me, does mixing DMC and Fancy Floss still make the piece as pleasing colour-wise? Um, this was because I showed Autumn Gifts last week by Plum Street Samplers, and I said I'm subbing some DMC colours um, instead of using the fancy floss that I hadn't got um, and to be honest I'm not liking it um, it's okay using DMC for little bits of things um, but then when you need to do a, a big patch of colour um, I prefer using the hand dyed threads because it, you get the variation um, so I've actually gone and bought the um, colours that I needed to finish that one off um, Claire asked me, how do I store my charts? Right, um, just over here I've got what's called a Calax cupboard from Ikea. Um, it's got eight holes in it and I've got a box in each hole. And then I've got three of them are full of yarn, as in stuffed full of yarn. And it's not the only yarn I've got, I've got bags of yarn all over the place. Um, I have one that's got fabric for um back in back in cross stitch and um you know for sewing with i've got one that's got cross stitch fabric in and then i've got one for kits one for charts a3 size um sorry a4 size charts and then i've got the one for the smaller charts and the the large and small chart ones are virtually full the kits doesn't have so too many in because I do prefer to buy charts if I can. And then the fabric, the one with cross stitch fabric, not got too much in, um, but the others are just full. Um, I also have Weaver Arch files over there um, with uh, charts from magazines and PDFs that I've printed out. I've put a picture of my cupboard on, on the video. Um, I also have the books over here on the on the bookcase. Uh, Karen asked me, do I have a favourite count and colour of linen? Um, my favourite count is 32 count. Um, I do prefer that. Um, colour wise, white is my go to because basically you can stitch anything on white as long as it's not got white, too much white in it. Um, I do like using hand dyed. I don't have a favourite of those, I just pick one that I think goes with the design. Um, but yeah, I, I do like white and 32 count. Deborah asked me, what do I teach? Um, I teach primary school children. They are aged five up to 11. Um, I mainly teach key stage two, which is seven to 11. Um, but I'll teach, I have been known to teach nursery, which is like three and four year olds. Um, my favourite, uh, subject wise, I teach every subject in primary school, but my favourites are maths, science and computing. Um, Linda asked me, can you still get Promise Me? This was the Lizzie Kate chart that I showed last week. Um, and I don't think anywhere has it at the moment. I know somebody put about one, two, three stitch. Um, but apparently they're out of stock as well so I'm, I'm not sure if you could still get it from somewhere uh jenny asked did i knit the elephant this elephant here and the answer is yes i did um this was um from mary jane tea rooms which is on the internet they have an etsy shop um and i, I knit it using the suggested yarn which is Malabrigo for the grey and then Jameson's of Shetland for the clothes and the little boots so yeah and I've, I've I'm, I'm knitting a, a doll at the minute from Mary Jane's tea rooms 
So hopefully I'll get that finished shooting soon and then I can show that one. I'll put a link down below for the, the, the Mary Jane's Tea Room shop. Um, Craftivating Creations asks, where did I get Dear Santa from? Oh, that's this one that I showed last week. Um, it's a Lizzie Kate design, so I would assume you can get it from wherever you can buy Lizzie Kate charts from. Um, it's a few years since I made this, um, so I don't know if you can still get it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I used to hang this in my classroom, so it's at least four or five years ago, maybe, and, and it, I stitched this. Okay. Right, some finishes. I have some non cross stitch finishes. I'll show you this one first. This is a barbell that I made over the last few weeks. It's from, it's gone a bit out of shape. It's from, um, Sherwood, it's called Sherwood Barbell, and the design is. It's all gone out of shape, I must have knocked it. Um, it's from Spellbound Bead Company. I have a book with the design in, but I'm sure you can get a kit. I'll put a link down below. So that's my barbell. Um, I have these stands to put the barbels on, and as you can see, it's it's not big enough for this one. So I've just hung it on there for now while I've had it in here to show you. That's why it's all gone out of shape, because it's draping on, uh, draping on the table. Um, the other non-stitching finish is a diamond painting and it's called Beam Me Up and it's by Diamond Dots and there is a lot of blue in that design, a lot of blue, but I really like stitching, oops, I've got stitching on the brain, um, I really like making that, it did take a while though because I did get fed up of doing blue. Um, I've done some fully finishing. Um, I'll just start with this one. This is Simply Autumn by The Drawn Thread. I stitched this during lockdown and then I've made it into a flat fold using some nice fabric and the chenille around the outside is Diamond uh, Lady Dot Creates. I like that one. That's up in my living room at the, at the minute, apart from now when I'm shopping it to you. Um, this one is America by Roveris. Um, the little star charm and the flag button came with the chart. So yeah, I really like that one as well. I've made it into a cushion with some corduroy fabric on the back. And the lace came with the chart as well. So yeah, that's a nice one. This one is Be Here Now by The Drawn Thread. Made into a little cushion with some check fabric. This one, I think it's called Lesson 4 by Plum Street Samplers. I really like this design. And then I've put backed it with some pumpkin fabric on the back. Be you to others kind and true as you would have others be to you. Really good saying. This one is Sheep Heap by Plum Street Samplers. Stitched this last year, put the date on this one. And then I've just backed it in with some nice fabric on the back, made it into a little cushion. And then this one is I Am One by Lizzie Kate. Again, stitched a couple of years ago and then made into a cushion with some fabric on the back. And then this one, I showed this one last week is Needlework ABCs. There we go. And I've put some velcro ends on this one so it can just hang. Uh, I just backed it with some interfacing. There we go. Velcro end on the bottom as well. I got the velcro ends from Art and Designs. Um, right, whips, 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 I have a new start, I only started it yesterday when I finished my October acrostic challenge with 24 hours of cross stitch and it's put on the hat by hands on designs, 
This is being stitched on a piece of Pulse Stitches grab bag fabric. Um, that's what I've done so far. I love the little green witch. And the, with the red hair. <laughs> you also get some nice purple uh, velvet fabric to back it with, with the chart. The next one is One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Following the One Nation Sal hashtag. I'm doing one star and one state a week because I've now caught up with the stars. So I have as many stars as I have states. <laughs> and there we go. So I stitched Mississippi and Illinois in the last couple of weeks. This is being stitched on 32 count raw Belfast linen uh, using the Colfar colours. Um, like I say, I'm on one star and one stair a week. The next one is PlayStation Controller by The Needle and Floss. This is a chart from Etsy. I can put the link below. And I've not done as much this, this time because I've been doing the beading and diamond painting. That's how much I've got done so far. Coming along nicely. This is going to be a present for my husband for Christmas. So yeah, I should have it done for Christmas. Right, the next one. Count Your Blessings by Silver Creek Samplers. Um, this has been in my stash box. For, well, not in my stash box, in my whip box for a while because I ran out of the colour. I didn't realise till I got out. Um, I ran out of the colour to do the letters with. Um, and then this edging is is just tedious, basically. <laughs> it's just leaves and a line. So, I'll show you what I did. Count your blessing. Um, thanks to my friend Jane for sending me a sky of weathered barn um, to do the words. Should get the board. There we go, that's better. I did four, I just did four hours on that during the acrostic challenge. The next one is Owl Scarney by Barbarana Designs. This was one of the new starts and I've done that much. I love the colours in this. I did. I did more than four hours. I did. I just finished a quarter of it. So um, the top is just basically four of these. So you, the owl turns on the way around, as you can see from that. So yeah, I really like the colours. I'm going to stitch on that next month as well, which I'll talk about later. The next one is. Old Glory Angel by La Di Da. And I did more than four hours on this too. Um, as you can see, I finished uh, the flowers here. Uh, I finished this edging here. Um, I did this and now I did the flowers. So that's a nice one as well. I think I'm going to stitch on that next month too. My next one, Autumn ABCs by the Little House Needleworks. I'm stitching this on a two-tone banding that I bought from the Knitting, knitting and Stitching Show in Harrogate last year. Um, so yeah, I managed to do these letters here and then I've done the leaves and this bit here. Um, but I've run out of yield gold um, and nowhere's got it at the moment so I thought I'll just leave it until the next time I stitch on it and then try and buy it again. So yeah, as you can see I've, it's not centred on the fabric because I wanted it so the letters were on the darker shade and everything else was on the lighter shade. So when, when it's finished it'll, I'll, I'll put a hem on this side. My next one 
is Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland Heart by Hall Stitch, um, pattern on Etsy. I'll put a picture up on the video. Um, and that's what I've got done so far. It's going to say we are all mad here. Um, the purple is Threadworks Purple Passion and the pink is Threadworks Hawaiian Hot Pink. Um, I'm not enjoying stitching with Threadworks thread. It's coarser than other threads I've worked with. Um, but yeah, I do like the, the effect it gives. The next one is Seaside Kingdom by Mirabilia. I'm stitching this on 32 count Kynance fabric by Sparklies. And that's what I've got done so far. As you can see, the little girl now has a back and part of an arm. I did a bit, a bit more of a skirt as well. <laughs> My next one is Mermaid Fractor by Plum Street Samplers. And that's how much I've done so far. Um, this has been stitched on. 28 count Lugana in Twilight Enchantment by Crafty Kitten using all the call for colours. This side is now finished except for the, the border that I've started. The next one is Raven Queen by Mirabilia. I still haven't found the pack this picture i do have the the official chart you know it's not it's just the pictures disappeared um that's how much i've done so far where's my board again let's get the board there we go this is being stitched on a piece of pole stitches fabric i'm not sure what color wear. um she now has the black on the top part of her dress and i did a bit more of a hair this time as well um right so they're my whips the next time i do a video will already be in november so i thought i'd talk about what i'm going to stitch on in november again using the 24 hours of cross stitch across stitch challenge um this next month the saying is four seasons so I've picked designs to go with the four seasons, the, the letters in four seasons. Okay, um, I I always just put a four hour challenge on, um, but as you've seen, I, so if I'm enjoying stitching it, I'll do a bit more than four hours, I'll finish an, an area off. Um, but then if I'm not enjoying stitching it, I know I, don't, I only need to do four hours. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. So the first one is Fern. By Nora Corbett. You saw this last month, last time's video. Um, stitching this on a piece of Sparkly's 28 Count Buttercup Joy, and that's what I've got done so far. Got the skin done and the top part of the dress, so we'll see how much I get done this next time. Um, the next one is going to be. A new start. I don't know. I've got this one. Oh, for the all, that's where I've got gone got mixed up. For the all in four seasons, it's going to be old glory angel, which I've already shown shown you. For the you, it's a new start, and I'm going to start this, which is up on the rooftop by Glendon Place, and I bought this. Um, it's a part kit by Nimble Thimble. Um, I'll show you what you get. So. It's mainly stitched with DMC, but you get the colour variations, and then there's also a pack with Krynik and beads, and then you get some nice opalescent fabric as well stitched on it. Um, for R, it's another new start, and I'm going to start the Drawn Threads Random Thoughts. Again, I bought this as a kit from Nimble Thimble and you see you get all the needle point silks and you get the fabric ready to 
stitch it. So that'll be a new start next month. Uh, for S, Slater's Stocking by Shepherd's Bush. I really like stitching on this, using all the call for um, pearl cottons. And that's how much I've got done so far. I'm doing this for my grandson. Don't know if it's going to get finished for this Christmas, but it will definitely get done for next year. Um, e is Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. This is being stitched on a piece of 32 count cotton clouds by the Crafty Kitten. And that's what I've got done so far. Love the colours in this. Hopefully get this side finished this time. Um, A is Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. I'm stitching this on the cob for Doubloon 28 count Cashel by Picture This Plus using the Valdani threads that I called for and that's what I've got done so far. This is another nice stitch but again the Valdani threads aren't the easiest to work with. Um, for the S I'm going to stitch on Simple Gifts Christmas by Praiseworthy Stitches. This is just being stitched on a piece of 32 count even weave and that's what I've got done so far. Using all the Colvar colours on that as well. O is Owl, Owl Scarney by Barbara which I showed you before. N is Nora Corbett's Fox Glove. Again, I'm stitching this on a piece of unknown pong stitches fabric, and that's what I've got done so far. Another nice design. And then the S, the last S, is going to be Santaberry Pudding by Shepherd's Bush. And I'm stitching this on a piece of 18 count Flauber over two. Is that a needle? Good grief. Don't usually leave needles in things. There we go. I've done that so far. Some nice buttons in this. But yeah, really nice design. So that's that's November's stitching. Um, until then, I'm probably just going to stitch on the um, hands-on design uh, put on the hat um, and I may also stitch on um, some of my other whips which I'll show you next time. Um, as far as the life update is concerned nothing's changed, still the same, no work. Um, the government have put us in tier three in Lancashire which is the highest tier so you can't visit people inside or outside. Um, no change for me then. Um, the pubs are shut, the restaurants are open, um, but yeah, it's it's not good basically. Um, but I'll just carry on doing what I do, carry on stitching. Um, Phoebe, by the way, is doing really well. Her paws healed up nicely, um, and yeah, she's fine. Uh, but other than that, yeah, everything's the same. I've no haul. No money, no haul. <laughs> um, but I've got enough to carry on with. Like I said, I've got cupboards full. Um, so, in fact, I'll show you one. Let's get this one. Ooh. Right, this is my large chart. And as you can see, it's rather full. So, yeah, lots and lots of charts in there. Yeah. <laughs> Lots and lots of charts. So yeah, um, that's my large chart. So the, the small charts, this is about as full as that one. Um, but so yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get get where I've not got anything to stitch on. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever run out of things to stitch. So happy stitching. 
and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye for now.